In 2018, Walt Disney Company CEO Bob Iger announced a $2.5 billion project for the Disneyland Paris Resort. The first phase of this project has just been completed, as Avengers Campus opens this week to the general public. After this delayed expansion ends, a new one begins. Arendelle, the world of Frozen, has started its construction, but the last phase of the project to save the Walt Disney Studios Park hasn't been on the spotlight for quite a while, until now. Welcome to the Main Street News. Today, we have a video my inner Star Wars fan really didn't want to make, but here we are. If you follow Disney Parks news on Twitter or maybe Facebook, you might have seen that the president of the Disneyland Paris Resort, Natasha Rafalski, has shed some light into the missing part of the puzzle that's Walt Disney Studios 2.1. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Paris. But first, we need to see what we were presented with in 2018. When it was announced that the Walt Disney Company would buy all of the resort back from investors, fans began speculating what new things could be coming to the European resort, and soon enough it was announced. The possibly worst Disney park in the world would soon get a huge expansion packed with a giant lake, Avengers Campus, Frozen, new smaller attractions, and a Star Wars land. It was never specified that this would be a copy, or a smaller Galaxy's Edge, and just like Avengers Campus, the final product could look very different from the one concept art Disney provided. So, okay, even if it was never going to be a Galaxy's Edge, it was still a Star Wars land, and here's what Natasha Rafalski was asked in an interview. The third themed area, mentioned in 2018, concerned the Star Wars universe, but it's no longer mentioned today. Is it still in the plan? Her response was, we are still working on the third theme. We will make announcements about this when we are ready. So she didn't officially confirm that it was scanned. She did say that Star Wars might not be a part of the plan anymore. This could be to the lackluster reception of the American lands, which opened one year later of the announcement for Paris in 2019. One good thing that we can take from this interview is that a third expansion land is still being planned, and with D23 just around the corner, who knows? Maybe we'll get some sort of announcement there. This information is what's available to everyone. But, according to someone who has inside information, I was able to understand the whole picture a little bit better. According to this someone, there are two possible outcomes of this situation. One includes a Star Wars land, and the other, a different IP. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you what the other possible IP is, seeing that I myself have no idea. This person has also said that the decision of which land will be built would be made in the start of the French school year, which, funny enough, is about 10 days before the D23 Expo, where Disney normally announces new attractions and experiences coming to the Disney parks. Even if this isn't an imaginary video, let's try and see what other possible lands could be built where Star Wars Galaxy's Edge was previously thought to appear. First of all, Star Wars. Yep, that's correct. One major complaint from guests who visit Galaxy's Edge in California or Orlando is the timeline. What does this mean, you ask? Let me explain. The American lands are both canon in the Star Wars universe, meaning that the story you live there actually happened inside a movie universe. Disney took a different take with Marvel, where they created the MTPU, or Marvel Theme Park Universe, which lets them use the characters however they want, since it's not directly connected with the movies. 
This creates several problems, because they can only show characters that are alive and connected with the sequel trilogy. This includes Rey, Chewbacca, Kylo Ren and several others. It does not include iconic characters such as Yoda, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, The Mandalorian or Grogu. If you create a land with a different timeline, like the original trilogy, you could have the most iconic characters and experience attractions with Darth Vader, Yoda, The Mandalorian, etc. So, this is one way they could use Star Wars and create something unique to Disneyland Paris. Another possible land is one of my personal favorites, Pandora The World of Avatar. This amazing land is currently in only one place, Animal Kingdom in Walt Disney World. While it's better fitted in a nature-related theme park, it could also be a great fit, since you basically enter the Avatar universe. And if you're wondering if all of Pandora would fit in this space, the answer is yes. Here's a quick copy and paste I did just to make sure. Disney is also developing a new land for Shanghai Disneyland, based on the hit movie Zootopia. This new land is being built right now, and it was supposed to open in 2023, but due to the pandemic it was delayed. Guests will be able to step into the city where anyone can be anything, and the land will feature a major ride that will blend Disney storytelling and state-of-the-art technology to bring this fan-favorite movie and its characters to life. While we don't know what type of ride it will be, if I were to bet, I'd say that Disney will use the trackless system and have something close to Rise of the Resistance. The last idea I think would be a great fit is Cars Land. This is the land that saved Disney's California Adventure. Why can't it be the one that saves Walt Disney Studios? Cars Land in Anaheim uses about 4.9 acres, which is just a little bit less than the space previously reserved for the Star Wars Land. The land itself has three attractions, but if it was cloned, I don't see all three coming to Paris. I'd say that perhaps two, or maybe even one attraction, would be present. This is obviously the crown jewel of the land, Radiator Springs Racers. This land could also incorporate the Cars 4 Rue Rally, that's already found in the park and is similar to Mater's Junker Jamboree. These are just my personal ideas. If you have an idea that would like to share, please make sure to do so in the comments down below. And, while you're at it, which of my ideas would you prefer to see coming to the Walt Disney Studios Park? So, to recap, the third land is still to be decided, with a decision being done until D23 Expo. We might get some updates regarding the expansion in this expo, but I wouldn't get my hopes very high. And that's it for Star Wars in Walt Disney Studios Park. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Make sure to follow us on Twitter to vote on the next videos, get updates from the parks, and more. Thank you for joining us for this week's video, and, as always, that's a wrap.